Hello everyone, and welcome to my review for the Watch Dogs Bad Blood DLC. Let's start off with the story. T-Bone hit Bloom so he could escape Chicago without them following him and taking him down. Soon before he leaves the city, he gets a call from his old pal, Tobias Frewer, saying that he's in trouble with the fixtures. Now he must stay back and risk his freedom so that he can free Tobias from all the fixers. <clears throat> Let's move on to the gameplay. You play the game as T-Bone. You met him while playing the game's campaign as Aiden Pierce. T-Bone has a few new features. Instead of a baton, he carries a wrench, a huge wrench if I might add, which acts more like a blunt weapon so it's more effective than Aiden's baton was. <clears throat> the most exciting new feature in my opinion is Eugene. Eugene is an RC car which is controlled with T-Bone's phone. It is used to access places that are out of reach for him. It can also be used to clear a path for him. It has an it has a stun ability that you can get really close to an enemy, and then it will knock the enemy out. Eugene can also be remote detonated for a much more effective room clear out. They changed how you use video cameras as well. Two of the missions in the game, the cameras have guns attached to them. They either have an assault rifle or a grenade launcher. It was a lot of fun to use these cameras to kill all the enemies. Um, one of the last main missions of the game, second main mission when you're clearing out a room of everybody, um, there's four <clears throat> turret cameras set up that you just use to shoot people. The only downside about it is that you have to, of course, you have to be able to access the camera and you can't always be hiding when you do it because you can't always have it in your field of view so you can hack the camera, but other than that, it's a lot of fun to use the cameras to kill everyone. You still have all the same gadgets Aiden had, IEDs, frag grenades, CTOS blackout, CTOS scan, whatnot. The guns are the same as they were in the main game as well, so don't get your hopes up if you want to try a new kind of shotgun, a new kind of assault rifle, different kind of pistol or whatnot. They're the exact same with the exact same amount of attachments as well. They've also added something called the Street Sweep Missions. They continue on with the gang hideout missions that you got in the original game as Aiden Pierce, but this time with objectives as well. You're not just killing the gang leader or gang leaders and trying to figure out who they are, but you could also be retrieving intel from a computer, like you did in the main game. Um, you just kind of hide by the computer and then you get enough intel while you're, while you're killing guys as well because they're trying to stop you. They've also included secondary objectives like don't get caught and whatnot. So you could be getting, uh, trying to kill your targets and you're not getting caught while you're doing it. So say you're coming in, there's like 10 guys in the room and then two of them are the bad guys or the leader, gang leaders you have to kill. You come in there, you take one of the guys out. They, they might be alerted but they don't know you're there exactly yet and then you go kill the other guy like that. It is a nice refresher to have something new and not just the same hideout missions that we've all seen before. There's also a side mission in the game where you find out more information about Aiden Pierce, what happened to him after the game was finished. So that's cool. You get a lot more story in this DLC, even in the side missions, which is really cool. Now, the length of the game, it'll take you roughly four hours to beat the main game if all you play is story missions like I did and the one side mission that you had to do with T-Bone. But if you want to include if you want to include the story missions as well. I mean the side missions, my bad, I wrote this down wrong. So if I want to include the story missions and the side missions as well, it will take you about 8 hours to complete because there's a bunch of, there's two story side missions, I guess you can say, that have a real story to it, then a bunch of, I think there's racing ones and the street sweep ones, you put those all together, take another 4 hours to complete it all. So that's what you're getting yourself into. So you know, it's 15 bucks for 8 hours, that's not bad. Now onto the pros of the game. Eugene adds a new way to enjoy the game. Instead of it always being you going into a certain era, area, you can send in Eugene to do all the work for you. And then you just have to walk in and complete the mission. You clear out the room with Eugene, everyone's done. You walk in, and then you're done. So yeah. Other thing, they added quite a bit of story into the game, not only in the main campaign of the DLC, but also in a few of the side missions as well. Now the cons of the game. Not all the side missions are are extravagant as the ones mentioned. A lot of them are just a bunch of copy paste from the original game, just to add more replayability to the DLC. Like you know, there's driving missions, 
There's still some of the gang had on missions out of there, racing missions. This stuff that was in the original game, just add another hour or two to it. <coughs> then a certain mission when you were using Eugene, this is another con, it is very dark, which makes it very difficult to see. I actually died once just because it was so dark and couldn't see anything. The only way you can navigate through the area is, you know, the white wire. You have to follow to unlock the door or something else. Like, let's say you have to follow a wire that will unlock a door or get you in to intrude to see more cameras. That's the only thing. It was very dark. I couldn't see a dang thing. Now the verdict. Overall, Ubisoft did a pretty good job of bringing Watch Dogs back to life back to life through the character of T-Bone. They added enough things to the DLC to make it worth your while to get it. If you weren't a fan of the original game, then you aren't going to like this DLC because it's the same, but I guess different because of story and whatnot. But if you did like Watch Dogs, then I suggest getting this game because, in my opinion, it was worth the money. So I'm going to give Watch Dogs Bad Blood DLC, in my opinion, deserves an 8 out of 10. Hope you guys like my review, and I'll see you later for more videos like these and others as well.